Welcome to the Daily Review. This is Fedray Zach, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today is September 18, 2023, and today is Monday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, markets really selling off, specifically the U.S. markets. But first, no major economic event scheduled for today. So as we look at the various markets, starting out with the Forex symbols, we're watching the Japanese yen just sitting on its lows versus the dollar, and as the major pair is still looking very weak versus the dollar. Now on the flip side, the indices, both the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq selling off, and that will explain why the dollar looking stronger. Now looking at commodities, gold bounces off of its lows and continues that range-bound trading, while oil hitting over $90 a barrel and closing into the end of the week. Now, looking at the stocks, it's the tech stocks that let us lower and sold off. And lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin remains unchanged. Even though it's got a little bit of a spike, it still remains unchanged. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go, starting with the Japanese yen on our lows for the year but close to our all-time lows all time. So look at where we're at. We're looking at a weekly chart and we are sitting at 147. Now, it's flatlining here, okay? If we look at a daily chart, you can see a little bit clearer at that 147.87 and that could potentially be a significant resistance for it to break lower. However, just keep in mind that we are at our close to all-time lows, so this may bring down the rest of the market as well. Now, jumping into the Euro USD, we're flatlining here at this 106-ish level on a weekly. In the daily, you can see we're right there on support-ish level as well. So this is really important that it bounces off of this area. Now, jumping into the Australian dollar, also on that area as well. So across the board, we're really trading in tandem, and we're getting stronger okay for the dollar weaker for everything else now jumping into commodities gold continues to play this great play every time we hit 1900 we bounce off of it every time we hit somewhere in the 1940-ish level that's when we're selling off and sure enough this continues to happen okay now it's almost like clockwork look at that it just hit 1900 and then bounced off of it now we're at the top of the move for now this is the top of the move 1929 so this may be a little bit of a supportish area a resistance -ish area and we may sell off now what i want to highlight here if you look at a weekly chart you can see all three moving averages i made this point several times are really just trading sideways okay like between the two they're really just breaking down now on looking at a weekly we're watching the eight day cross over the 30 day moving average which is a sell signal so just be aware and don't be surprised if this does sell off at a certain point and continue to break lower now jumping to crude oil look at that can't stop it okay 90.79 right now above that 90 dollar barrel level and so it's closing on on its all-time high at least for 2023 for sure but also getting back to 2022 now if you remember the war broke out in 2022 so between ukraine and russia so that was a factor back then okay if we see that back in may and march okay of last year now altogether this is still you know, has an upside potential. Now, if we break 92, we could get back to this $100 range, okay? So that's really important to note. Now, jumping into the U.S. markets, Dow Jones sold off aggressively from 35,500. You know, that's a decent sell-off right there, over 300, 400 points. The NASDAQ also sold off, okay, after hitting some resistance to sharing. Now, looking at the individual stocks, they're all selling off, really, okay? If we look at Apple selling off, look at Facebook also sold off a little bit, Microsoft a little bit weaker, okay? Not going to give it to you, okay? Now, Apple got some bad news on it with what happened with China, and it hasn't really bounced back. So, I'm inclined to think that maybe we are looking to break lower but it's not going to do it all in one time it's going to do it in intervals so just keep that in mind now in the video also has gotten weaker significantly if you look at a daily chart you can see that a little bit clearer and we're just there we're on supportish area so this would be an area where i'd like to see it actually bounce off lastly looking at bitcoin okay now we got a little bit of a perk here but it's still very choppy environment very hard to catch it. It's at 26,600 ish right now. If it does break above, I would say 27,000. If closed above it, 
then maybe that's an indication of we're going to spike higher. But you could see we're in a very linear kind of environment when it comes to Bitcoin. It's either going up or it's going down. It's not transcending in a way that is easier for a trader to actually take advantage of the market okay if you are day trading it okay and you want to just see the spike of it that is an option as well so just keep that in mind this is a fed raise act I want to wish you guys a great trading day thank you